Oh yeah, alright guys, we're back with another video today. Now what we are doing today is top 10 riddles. We're going to be acting some, trying some riddles. 10 are easy, and then if we ace those, we're going to take the 10 hardest riddles. So comment down below what you guys think. And if you guys want to play along, also play along in the comments. Subscribe, remember we are only 10 subscribers away from hitting our first 100 subs on the channel. Thank you everyone who's participated and helped the channel grow. We're only gonna get better from here. So let's hop right in the video. The first riddle we have here says, David's father has three sons, Snap, Crackle, and Pop? Probably not. Um, it's David's father. So that would be David, right? You'd think. Yep, David. We knew that one. These are the easy ones, but we knew that one. Three consecutive days, riddle. Can you name three consecutive days without using the words Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Three consecutive days? The first, the second, the third? That's the only thing I'm going with. I mean, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Uh, imagine missing one on the freaking easy ones, first two questions in. We're stupid. But we move. Lucky to be. Samuel was out for a walk when he started to rain. He did not have an umbrella, and he wasn't wearing a hat. His clothes were soaked, yet not a single hair in his head got wet. How could this happen? He is bald. Man is bald. Yes. All right. We got that. Easy. We're rolling. We're rolling. rolling. What r runs around the whole yard without moving? What runs around the whole yard without moving? I don't, I have no idea. Like a, I, I have no idea. Fence, ah, you see, yes, that would uh, make some sense. What's a lifeguard's favorite game? Don't drown. Pool. Yes, uh, that would also make some sense. Riddle, five apples. Five apples in a basket. Five apples. Five apples. Five apples are in a basket. How do you divide them among five girls so that each girl gets an apple, but one apple remains in the basket? Five apples are in a basket. How do you divide them? You have five apples in a basket. And each girl wants one apple. But one apple has to remain in the basket. The girl carrying the basket is the girl with the last apple? Maybe? Maybe? Give the fifth girl her apple in the basket. Yeah, see, there we go. We're smart. All right. A very pretty thing am I. Fluttering in the pale blue sky. Delicate, fragile on one wing. Indeed, I am a pretty thing. What am I? A rhyme? Butterfly. I mean, it did rhyme, so to be fair, I was right. Three lives have I. Gentle enough to soothe the skin. Light enough to caress the sky. Hard enough to crack rocks. What am I? Water sick. Ah, well, that's unfortunate. And that's the end of the easy quiz. And I believe we missed like three or four on the easy one. That's like a 60% on the... Ah, that's not good. But uh, let's try the hard one and see if we do any better, which we probably won't. All right, here we are with the hardest of the riddles. Wooden case. I am taken from mine and shut up in a wooden case. From which I never released, yet I am almost used by everybody. What am I? Taken from a mine. Taken from a mine. So we're thinking like treasure. Treasure in one case, which is treasure. Which I never released. That's also treasure. But yeah, it means like everybody. But treasure? Does everyone use treasure? Or gold? I guess we'll answer and we'll go with like treasure or gold. But I don't even understand then. Nobody, not everyone uses treasure. Pencil lead. Yeah, I would, no, was never, was never gonna get that, homie. 
sorry. All right, you walk up into the mountain with two paths. One leads to the other side of the mountain, the other will get you lost forever. Two twins know the path that leads to the other side. You ask them only one question, except one lies and one tr tells the truth. You don't know which one's which. Who do you ask, or what do you ask? Wouldn't you just ask which one's lying? Isn't that logical, or am I tripping? You tell each twin what would your brother say. This works because, well, let's say the correct pass is the left side, so the... So you ask the liar, what would your brother say? Well, the liar would know his brother was honest, so you would say left side. But since the liar lies, he would also say the, he would say the right. So if you ask the honest one the same question, he would say the right, because he knows the brother would lie, therefore he get the same answer. See, that's too advanced for my knowledge. Getting away with manslaughter. Two cars were involved in an accident in the center of the town. The man who was driving the little green car had been overtaken by a big black car. The driver who misjudged the distance between him and the oncoming traffic had to swerve back in, causing the black car to swerve and crash into a shop window. When the occupants of the car were examined, everyone in the green car was okay, but the black car one was one dead man. R.I.P. However, the driver of the green car was not charged with manslaughter. Why was this so? The guy was already dead? That's the only logical answer I know, but uh, I could not tell you. The black car was a hearse and someone was at a funeral. I freaking knew it! Let's go! That's our first, uh, first right in the hard part, so that's kind of nice for us. So we'll take that W. You are in a room that is completely bricked in on all four sides, including a ceiling and a floor. You have nothing but a mirror and a wooden table in the room with you. How do you get out? So you're in a little square that's bricked in on all four sides, including the ceiling and the floor. You have nothing but a mirror in a wooden table in the room with you. How do you get out? There's gotta be like some, some like, something that's on my, I'm missing right here, right? You look in the mirror, you see what you saw, you take the saw out, no, 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 no. No, no. Alrighty, and the last riddle here today is 1,000 bucks. A man told his son that he would give him 1,000 if he could accomplish the following task. The father gave his son 10 envelopes and $1,000, all in $1 bills. He told his son, place the money in the envelopes in such a manner that no matter what number of dollars I could ask for, you could give me one or more of the envelopes, can the exact amount I asked for without having to open any of their envelopes. If you can do this, you will keep the 1000 When the father asked for some of the money, the son was able to give him envelopes containing the exact amount of money he asked for. How did the son distribute money along the 10 envelopes? What, he turned them into coins? I don't know. The contents of the 10 envelopes should be as follows, $1, $2, $4, $8, $16, 4, 32, 64, so on. The first nine numbers are in geometrical progression and their sum deducted to 1,000 gives the contents of the 10th envelope. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you are enjoying this new type of content that I'm doing, please make sure to let me know you enjoy by subscribing or by commenting on this video that you enjoy. For that.